If I could be honest Here in this moment My babe, my love, my love. It still amazes me that in a world of billions of people I was able to find and almost immediately connect with you. To think that this all could have not come to pass if I did not convince you through text message to continue to explore the fun and companionship that we had begun experiencing together. I am elated that you agreed and gave in because knowing what I do now, a life without you sounds equally boring and depressing. Yes, they can hear us, but they don't understand. Throughout this journey, I vow to continue to make you laugh, even at times where you will be annoyed that I made you smile. I vow to have patience through the tough times. The tough times will always come, but will be temporary. I vow to support you, challenge you, and most of all, love you. Here's a haiku. <laughs> if life transcends death, then I will seek for you there. If not, then there too. Forever and ever, babe. Let me share a few words of wisdom for Ashley and Meg. Marriage is a journey, not a destination. It's about navigating the highs and lows, sharing in the laughter and tears, and using them to grow together as a team. Most of all, what I want for you too is to remember the joy and love you're feeling right now and let it carry you for the rest of your lives. I want you to capture this moment right now and remember it. Ashley is the builder and connector in our lives. She built a career to be proud of. She created a strong sisterhood in her group of girlfriends. And she is the glue that connects our family together. Her achievements, strength, and power are not just commendable, they are awe-inspiring. I am so lucky to witness the life she built for herself and look forward to seeing the life she will build with Meg. Mike's someone who you want to be around all the time because he makes you laugh, is undoubtedly the life of the party, and can make the best out of every situation. Mike is one of the most loyal people I know. He would show up no matter what. He's always the one that you can count on to have your back. And now as you enter into this sacred bond of marriage, I know you will bring the same love, dedication, loyalty, and laughter that we share together to this new family that you are building. We have witnessed their love for each other grow and become unbreakable. We have fully supported their union and ultimately knew that we would be here one day celebrating this moment. Today, as you join yourselves in marriage, there is a vast and unknown future stretching out before you. Today you enter as individuals, but you will leave here as husband and wife. We went through everything together. Went through awkward phases together, learned how to do our hair and makeup. Face it, we do everything together. But then Ashley told me about some boy from work, and of course I was skeptical at first, but then COVID hit. That's when I truly got a glimpse into how beautiful you guys really are with one another. Mike, I thank you every day for making my sister the happiest girl in the world. And I am so grateful now that I get to call you a brother. I like to say to Ashley, you couldn't have picked a better guy to marry. I could tell by the way you guys look at each other that you have true love and you have found your soulmate. You really do make a wonderful couple. To Michael and Ashley, may you receive all your wonderful thoughts and prayers and your dreams and your love be continuously growing. We love you both. We're happy for you. And cheers, salute, congratulations. Oh, hey, babe. You look beautiful. I will say.
with great honor and the power vested in me by the state of New Jersey and the internet, you may now kiss your bride.